obsessed with this coaster. <laughs> Hello, we're at um, Holiday Park. There we go, remember the name that time? We're at uh, Holiday Park, which is cool. We've never been here, didn't think I would come here until uh, uh, met you two, which is cool. So I'm glad they're finally here. What? I'm excited for that one. Intamin's uh, beyond obsession for me, so I can't wait to get on that. <laughs> and we couldn't have picked a better day for it, not a cloud in the sky. I can't wait, it's gonna be great. That's what I like to see. Intamin dropped, I was going strong. <laughs> I literally have that font as Planko TMTK. <laughs> There's an absolutely giant classic Intamin mega coaster over there, but first we're going in uh, Heidi Land. <laughs> we're going on a Zero coaster, because creds. I think this is the, this is the, yeah, this is Zero, isn't it? That's quite a cool Zero car, actually. We're gonna go on this now. Oh, it's all above water as well. That's nice. Family coaster, that was fun. I like that. But is it ETF time now? Yeah. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Two beautiful intimates. <laughs> it feels like we're back at Alton Towers. It's like nice foresty woodland and then there's just gigantic coaster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping that in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what an entrance. This is really giving me Alton Towers vibes. Look how close you can get to the track. That's so cool. So I'm still convinced that Intamin can do no wrong. That was amazing. And 20 years old nearly as well. Oh wait, no, it's more than 20 years old. That's, yeah, that's crazy. Intamin is <laughs> But But yeah, my thighs hurt with the amount of airtime, and that was probably like the third or fourth train of the day. <laughs> that's, I'd love it so much. Right, two rides in. Yep. Good. Better than I expected. Yeah. yeah, the airtime is um, <laughs> harsh. <laughs> my my so, thighs hurt already after two rides. I've got to say, well, it's an old ride, but it's a little bit radly no. on the back, a little bit, a tiny, a tiny bit, bit, but not not anywhere near enough to put me off. Kind of yeah, like me neither. I don't no, know. No issue at all. I'm trying to think of what to compare it to. Conda but older. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that is brilliant. Intamin uh, cook hard. So we're going to go and do Skyscream now. Very interested to see what you think of this because it's your first it's ever first, yeah. SNS, uh, what are they called? One of those. <laughs> Skyrocket. Skyrocket. Is it, it's not even SNS, is it? It's Premiere. Premier. Never mind. But yeah, it's your first one. I've only done one, which is Tigris at Busch Gardens. And because of the comfort collars, as they for some reason call them, it was horrific. I hated it. But I'm really looking forward to this one. Because and it that doesn't is, have them. It doesn't have them. And that is a very nice view. Got the Vacoma corkscrew as well going over the entrance. That's really nice. Oh, it's going. The theme of this is really interesting as well. That went way further than Tigris normally does. And probably the coolest moment of the ride for me is a really slow inversion. I just 
just hope this rides better than uh, Tigris did with those horrible comfort collars because this one doesn't have it. Very excited to ride this. I'm going to cling on to my phone. And... <laughs> it's a very cool looking queue. Who is that dude? <laughs> Oh, you can see the launch. Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, that was infinitely better than Tigris ever can be. <laughs> so much just, I don't know, more enjoyable because it doesn't have comfort collars, no seat belt either. That was brilliant. Very yeah. intense as well. <laughs> Too intense for not that much in the end, so I didn't really like it. I like it. It's good. <laughs> but this park has, doesn't have loads of coasters, but the few that it has so far, very good. Yes, yeah, three. <laughs> <laughs> They're good. I'm enjoying this park. We're going to this log flume next, which is huge. I'm excited for this. I haven't been on a log flume in ages. So obviously, I don't have Logger's Leap or um, the flume at Alton Towers anymore. So, kind of a dying breed of rides. So I'm glad that uh, Holiday Park are keeping this one up to a... Ah, I'm getting dripped off. <laughs> up to a nice standard. Wow, look at this. This is really nice. Getting lots of inspiration from my Western Park here. <laughs> That log flume was really fun. Uh, it got quite wet on it, but I think it was what we needed because of the temperature. Yeah, I guess. You look very wet. <laughs> you're even more wet. You took the front of it because you're at the front. Yeah. Oh, Expedition G4 looks good from literally everywhere. I can't stop looking at it. Especially from the drop over there. Yeah, you get great views from pretty much everywhere in this yeah. park. I love it. <laughs> I am now thoroughly obsessed with this coaster. <laughs> it's so nice. We're going on probably one of the most adorable rapids now. It's called Dino Splash. It's dinosaur themed and there's just cute dinosaurs everywhere. Look at them. Oh, look at the views at Exhibition G-Force. Wow. Oh, it's over there. Oh, it makes such a cool noise. So that rapids was fun. How was your near drowning experience? <laughs> He had like the full wave come completely over. I got I got a slight splash. That was it. That was fun though. So we just had another ride on Expedition G Force, which was brilliant. We did the drop tower early after the rapids. It, great park. I'm really enjoying it. It's got the potential to be such an amazing park when it gets the more investment like the extreme spinner and you say they're getting a ghost our family coaster yeah. as well yeah it's gonna be great this park once it gets all that investment <laughs> it's a very nice area great views of the uh, sky scream as well and then and that over there will be where the Mac extreme spinner will be yeah, they have so much land left at this park. Max Extreme Spinner over there would be awesome. So we just did the splash battle. Um, it's a bit wet. You two got off okay. I'm absolutely drenched. But we're going on the rapids again because it was good. Get more drenched. So we've just been on the rapids again. It was fun, apart from that I got very, very wet. Um, you got lucky that time. I, I got all of it. 
But I think now we're going to go on Expedition G-Force for the rest of the day, probably. <laughs> So what was that? Four rides in a row. Yes. Yep. Back row. My thighs obliterate. <laughs> they hurt so much. I don't think I've ever had that much consistent airtime, but it probably doesn't help that the lap bar is very thin and it hurts. Like on um, what's it called? Ride to Happiness. It's pretty lethal the airtime, but yeah. the lap bar is a lot bigger, so the surface it's like surface area pushing down and is not as bad. Yeah. But <laughs> there was a guy that got off. Did you see him? He got off the train, I think, before the last one. He could barely walk, and I feel like that now after four rides in a row. We need a break. <laughs> Just destroyed. Station. <laughs> We're done with our day at Holiday Park. That was very, very good. Did yeah. we get was it eight rides on uh, Expedition G-Force? I absolutely love that thing. It'd be interesting to see where it ranks. Uh, then we did three rides on the Rapids because it's brilliant. Uh, we, us two did three rides on Skyscream, which was very fun. I love that thing. It's so so much better having it without the uh, comfort collars. I bet, yeah. Much better. But. And three rides on the jet skis. Yeah, <laughs> they were fun too. Never done them before, but GeForce is brilliant. I absolutely love it. Next vlog, Trips Drill, which looks even better. I can't oh, wait. Yeah.